Okay, back at the ski shop, and uh, anyway, all this talk about this, all the rave about these new Rossi 7 series skis with these tips and tails that have the air pockets in them. And there you see some of them. You see, you know, that's all full of air right there. And I'm a little bit concerned about heating those up. Now, I heard some of them have broken in the tips during shipping. And I'm wondering when you heat these up in a hot box or something, are the doggone air pockets going to explode? And how do they hold out to waxing with the iron as well? And I assume that's, you know, is going to uh, be okay. I mean, hey, they made the things. They know people want to wax their skis. So what I got is I got one of them in there right now. I got one of them heating up, and she's warming up in there. I don't know, let's see here. Oh, I'm hitting the microphone on the gloves, probably making all kinds of... We're at 142, 142, 142 and rising. Anyway, we'll run that ski up to about 150 degrees, okay? And uh, and then we're going to pull, pull it out of the hot box and see if she didn't freaking explode there and of course I took the cheaper of the two pairs one of them and put it in there only because this way if it blows up we only got one ski to replace okay and don't forget there's always snow and snow well don't know for sure never been there but there she is stand by and we will show you a ski when we pull it out and see if it has or has not exploded okay well back again in the shop here they are these fancy fancy all the rave skis with the air pockets in the tip and we got uh one of them in the hot box now we're just going to try to see how in the world them doggone things hold out in a hot box oh wait a minute we're on the doggone floor. Okay, here we go. Okay, so we got her up to fairly decent temperature. Let's see here. Whoops, sorry, get out of light. Okay, so looks like I'm saying like 147, 147.9, 147.9. So we peaked out right there at 147.9. It does take a while for this puppy to totally heat up because she's big and we're not only, well, we're just using 1,500 watts. So anyway, she been in there for a couple of hours, maybe about two and a half. Normally I like to go, let's say, uh, you know, four hours minimum to six hours, but it's just some yellow wax. Anyway, the thing was we wanted to heat that puppy up and she's brand new. And she never, never even seen a uh, waxing iron yet. And it would be the, uh, the companion to this one right here. Anyway, so we're going to make sure they don't blow up before we put the rest of them in there. And we'll get back to you after a while. We're going to let her sit in there a while longer. We're going to let her cool off a little bit because we don't like to shock them out of the box. But we're going to pull that puppy out there and see if she didn't explode or not. Stand by. Okay, well, we've had her in there for three hours. And I figure for a test, that's long enough. Uh, it's just the, the yellow wax goes in real easy anyway. So, 147.9, where I got her thermostatted right now, seems to be about the cap. And actually, the ski is down a little closer to the heat source, so I can assure you the tip of the ski probably got closer to 150 degrees. She's cooling down. We're going to let her uh, shut off the oven and let the fans run a while, cool her off, and pull her out. Let's hope she didn't explode. Okay, so the suspense is pretty much killing me. I uh, brought her down to, as you can see... Uh, she's cooling down. Not like I brought her down, but she's cooling down. Oh, 130 something degrees there. I just have my glasses on. 130 and a half. Anyway, she's cooling down. 
And you know, it's not too cold in the shop tonight. We let's see what we got her. I can't. What does that say? Fifty. 67 degrees so so it's not like we're freezing in here or anything so we're gonna pop that puppy out of there and see if she did not explode well there she is she's got the yellow wax on her and she did not explode yet but as you can see I just brought her out and so we still got some liquid on the ski here. And just visually looking from here, at least currently, I'm not seeing any uh, issues uh, yet. We're going to have to let this wax cool. Scrape it off of there. End up seeing how she looks. And anyway, you notice as a school, as a, a ski cools, uh, there will be parts that will cool faster than others. And near the metal edges, we're starting to cool here, and in the thicker portions a little bit there. But anyway, it looks okay. So far, so good. I am not seeing, let's move this over. I'm not seeing... Any deformations or any explosions currently? So there we go. In the tip. We're still looking like we got one solid piece there. So this is good. This is good. Now. I got to tell you though, there is one thing I don't like about these new Rossi skis. Now I know they're going to tell you there's some kind of great thing. And I see many skis that are constructed like this. But they don't have a wrap around tip, okay? You come up into the rocker. I mean, wrap around tip, wrap around edge. The edge stops right here. So as you wear these skis and as you run them, I work on a lot of other skis that are like this, like the Bi skis for Organ Adaptive, the uh, Mega 2s. And right here, uh, as the ski wears, this edge can start to lift a little bit or pop. Uh, anyway, it will lift a little bit. And so you want to take and make, make sure you take a file and just watch that right there. Because if it does start to lift that little bit without a protector there, it will catch on something as you're skiing along might just be a piece of metal in the lift line but you really got to watch that right there you want to make sure that you file that puppy down just a teeny bit right there so it doesn't catch on anything okay so there you go well she appears to have made it folks that's all i can tell you Okay, so we put her up here on the shelf in a different position. We're looking at the tip of it. She's still warm, but again, autofocus camera, I don't know, you know, but I uh, want you to look real close there. I'm not seeing any bubbles. I'm not seeing any popping. Look at that. She's still looking really good. Looking good. And we heated that puppy up. You saw it. So there she is. Evidently, it can withstand it. So we're going to have to give a one-up. Of course, before we're finished, we're going to cycle these puppies three times through the hot box. Once with the yellow, once with the pink, and once with the blue. And then maybe we'll do... A graphite zoom for the boogaloo and we'll catch you a while ago the Rousey 7's passed the hot box test. Ciao.